Oh, that's a good one. That sounds a lot better. Hey guys, it's early April and it's time to start fly fishing. Uh, last year I did a couple of videos and the guys at brimbugs.com saw it and sent me some products to take a look at and see what I thought. So I thought what I'd do this year is um, we're going to give them a try out and then comment on it and see, see how we like it. So let me show you what I normally do. I'll show you the new product they sent me to try and, and I'll see what I think and love to get your comments and comment down below and let me know what you think about it. So first of all, the way that uh, we normally have everything set up is, um, of course, we have, our, we have our fly line, and to that we have our monofilament. The monofilament leader, I usually use eight or nine feet tied to a dry fly, and then from the back of the dry fly is tied another monofilament line that goes to the wet fly. This is called a dry fly because it floats on top of the water, and this is called the wet fly because it slowly sinks. Sometimes the brim will bite what's on top. Sometimes they won't come up and bite that very well. But if something's sinking down in front of their face, they'll bite it. So this is called a popper dropper rig. Popper because oftentimes this dry fly has a little scoop nose on the front and you twitch it and it makes a little popping uh, commotion. And then this, uh, the back one is called a wet fly because it sinks, goes under the water, it's wet. All right, so the difficulty I have with this, this is the way I've always done it, and it works fine, but the difficulty is, you can see, I'm going to try to get this where you can see it. So this is the hook, and this uh, monofilament leader that goes to the wet fly, I tie onto the back of this hook, and that's hard to do. That's hard to do fast. So when you're fishing and you need to make a change, it's, it's not quick and easy just to uh, tie you and on here. Um, so. The other thing is, if you're fishing and you, you can't get a bite, you say, well, maybe they don't like an orange color. Maybe I want to try chartreuse or white or black or green. Uh, it's, not, you know, it's not easy to change these baits to a different color. So that's what I normally use. This is what they sent to me. Um, okay, the, the company is called uh, brimbugs.com. There's their phone number. If you can read that, it's 800-513-7041. Mosquito Coast is their version of these monofilament um, popper dropper rigs. It's called a tippet. And the one I'm going to try first is a 10 pound test uh, tippet. So let me show you exactly how it works and where I th this has potential to be a big improvement over what I do. So uh, at one end, they have a, one end of the monofilament is a loop, so you can tie onto your, uh, your uh, fly line. So you have this eight or so foot long monofilament leader and then where your dry fly hooks on the, the first one there's this little metal hope you can, hopefully you can see that get the background of my orange my lsu shirt there so hopefully you can see this it's a little metal clip so you can just clip your fly on and clip it off and then the uh, monofilament is tied to that clip as so and it comes on back to the another little metal clip for the wet fly. So it's just really nice. It's all put together quick for you. Uh, easy to take on and take off your flies, both the dry fly and the wet fly. And um, 10 pound test. So I'm going to try it. I'm, hopefully I'm going to go make a fly fishing trip tomorrow and uh, try this out and see how we like it. And I'm, I'm going to be honest. I mean, if I like the product, I'll say I like it. If I don't like it, I'll say that. Or if I like it and think that there's maybe some, some things they can do different or better, I'll let them know that too. So anyway, Come along. Hopefully we'll do a little fishing trip tomorrow and um, love to get your comments down below. See what you think about it from what you see on the video. So God bless you. Have a good day and maybe I'll see you tomorrow. On that dry fly again. Well, these are good sized bluegill. Yeah, hit the dry fly again. There you go, pretty fast. Oh, you got him. 
Good one. Cry fly too, huh? Goggle eye. Oh, that's a good one right there. That might be a dog alive. That's a good one. Oh, it's just a big old bluegill. What a beauty. Oh, I wrapped up. There it is. Hot dog. You're talking about lucky. But what happened is that when I threw it up there, it wrapped around just a little bit. And instead of pulling it hard, I just kind of teased it. And it's light enough that sometimes it'll just fall off without letting that hook get caught. So it was kind of lucky and kind of skill. We'll go with, we'll go with skill. I like that. That sounds a lot better. Right. Yeah, it's a little... All on the dry fly today, huh? Back on that chartreuse again. Alright, Mr. Fish, thank you, thank you. Good job, man. All right, so let's do a quick wrap up on our fishing trip. Tell me, in real quick summary, what you thought of the fishing part, and tell me what your impressions were of the the tippets. Um, the fishing. It was all right, like you said, they weren't bedding up quite yet, but they bit whenever we would get under the low hanging limbs, and then, so we'd have a little while of not hitting anything, but we'd find a few spots where they were hitting, we would both catch fish right in the same spot, so we had a few little pockets where they were starting to circle up. Um, the tippet was fine, um, the flies stayed well, I didn't have any issues with it, the only issue was that, um, the line itself would kind of start twirling up on itself um, when they, it's like sitting in the boat. If I, when I was undoing the fish, it would get kind of tangled up a little bit. But once you start casting, they work perfectly. Okay, and I would agree. I think we're a little bit early for the, a little bit early for the best of the uh, spawn. I think the the brim are going to start bedding up a lot better in a week or two. So fishing wasn't real great. Right at the end, it got a little fun. Um, but uh, on the tippet, my, my first impressions are I'm very, I like it a lot so far. Um, I'm still going to be pretty critical. I need to use a, some more to make sure. The things that I thought might be a concern would be the little, the little metal snap rings that I showed. I thought they might catch on the grass or the duck seed too much, but they did not. That was not an issue at all. Um, the other thing I thought, I thought that maybe the little metal um, snaps would cause the flies to sink uh, or ride a little lower in the water, or especially the wet fly to sink too fast. I didn't find that to be an issue or not much of an issue, not enough to worry about. The convenience factor, I think, far outweighs that. The thing that I really liked about it was, and she mentioned it a little bit, how the, the line twist. I actually think the line twist is a lot less than on like what I use. And I think the reason is because the, the tippets at the, at the end that connects to the fly line is a, is a very thick, thick 
and so it doesn't tend to twist up. It's when it tapers down to the small, small fine line down at the flies that you get more twist in it. And so um, the ones that I make, I use an eight pound test monofilament and it gets twisted up at the top and at the bottom where these tippets don't get twisted at the top. What little bit of line twist you get is in the bottom. And the other thing that I like about that is um, because, the, because of the way the dry fly is connected to the, the little metal clasp and sits kind of off to the side, it doesn't tend to, the line twist doesn't cause it to spin. If it was gonna, if you had line twist, it would want to make it flip over and over and over this way, and it can't really do that. So I find that there's a lot less flipping of the, uh, almost no flipping of the dry fly when you do get a little bit of line twist. So all in all, man, it's a two big thumbs up to me so far on this tippet. I'm gonna go and, I got a lot more fishing to do with it to make sure I still Brembo, agree. But, what's that? The brand Rembo? Yeah, yeah, brimbugs.com are the ones who, who sent this. So, so far I like it. That's the 10 pound test tippet. I haven't tried the eight and six yet, but I'll be trying those too. I'll let you know what we think. Thanks for coming along fishing with us and we'll see you next time.